Okay, so today we're gonna witness the ultimate most magnificent monster versus kaiju battle tournament I've ever freaking seen. There's every single freaking monster versus kaiju in this. Literally everyone. Every single monster versus creature that qualifies as a kaiju is in this tournament. I'm excited to see if Godzilla wins it, dude. There's so many kaiju on there. You never know who's gonna win. Leave a like if you guys wanna see more of this kind of awesome stuff. Check out this channel. Link down below for their actual video and all their amazingness. Hey, let's get into it. <laughs> This is exciting, dude. I want to put money on it, but gambling's not necessarily legal in my state, but... Ooh, I want to put money in the skull crawler. I, f I feel like... Okay, so it's... <laughs> it's starting out with them all going for the trophy. This is actually really cool to see them all just exchanging damage on each other. That's got to be Mecha, right? Ooh. I don't know. Mecha Godzilla might win this tournament, dude. It could go any way. Mothra sure as heck ain't winning. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I spit at Mothra. I don't know why I did that. I'm very competitive. Ooh, or will Monster Zero win? Look at Kevin's face. What is that? Googly eyed dingus. This is sweet, dude. Oh, look, Shinomura, Methazula, Behemoth, freaking Rodan. Oh, look at this. Oh man, okay, first we got Warbat. Oh, Warbat versus Shinomura is gonna be insane. Kamazons versus Rodan, this is exciting. Bethazula versus Behemoth. Round one, it's getting stinky. Dude, the Spirit Tiger, the giant creatures from Skull Island, those just barely make it as a kaiju because they're huge, but nothing else is big enough on Skull Island. Mothra versus Ghidorah. A Muluk versus Godzilla, that's the ultimate freaking round right there. Mulok is almost invincible. His only weakness is a weakness to fire and heat, which Godzilla pretty much brings to the table. What's he doing here? Oh, they're walking past each other because it's a tournament and they're dignified gentlemen. Oh, because in the comics, a Mulok had just whoop, whooped the poop out of Behemoth and Godzilla had to save him. Sorry, I had to go pee. Okay, now we can start it. This is going to be sweet, dude. I'm excited to argue in the comment section after this video over who's the best. Like, whoever wins this. I guess it just comes down to whoever wins every little battle, though. Every battle is so important. I think Amulak does have better melee. It is true. Godzilla has a scratched face now. These Godzilla noises are funny. But the accuracy remains the same. He would use his tail. I like that. That's Godzilla's main melee weapon right there. It all comes down to finish him off with that atomic breath. Unless there's some way for a Mulok to defeat him. Yes, see, a Mulok is freaking humongous, dude. Like, it would easily be strong enough to hit Godzilla back. It whooped the crap out of Behemoth. <laughs> Well, that was goobery. Did he just crap in his face? Bro, if you crap in my face, I'm gonna end your life. Get laughed at by Godzilla's like getting laughed at by Batman. Did he catch his tail on fire? He did! Unironically, oh my god, he's just burning to death. Oh, damn! Oh yeah, because that's all the Muluk really is. He's like this little gooey kaiju freckle that just exists and, like telepathically controls the plants around it that was beast that literally ended exactly how it does in the franchise godzilla sets him on fire this is actually really accurate like to like monster vs canon storyline which means mothra is probably about to get the crap kicked out of her right now look at those hooligans just sitting on the street like that get a job You gotta respect Mothra's, like, candor. I, I don't know if that's the right time to use this word. But she knows she's gonna lose it necessarily. She's smart. Well, it's because she just rebirths herself, so she doesn't have to worry about anything. It's like, I already laid my egg. Let's fight. I don't care if I die. Mothra is hardcore, dude. Oh, God. 
she does have the evading skill of a ninja. Ah, that's adorable. That is unfortunately the limit of her melee damage right there. Oh my god! I guess she's got her stinger also, but I don't know, dude. What's a stinger gonna do? It repairs so fast. Dude, Kevin gets no respect. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Kevin, you idiot. Oh my god! That was so gangster! I didn't expect such epicness from this battle. They keep surprising the crap out of me with these crazy brutal finishers. Okay, I've posted videos on Shido Mura for anyone who's confused about it. Mostly on my React channel though. But it's a very dangerous kaiju. As long as it feeds off radiation, it could grow forever. In the comics, they stated it could cover the sky. It could, it could literally overtake the planet if it gets enough radiation. And it, it's made up of like billions of tiny micro cells so it could kind of change forms. Oh! <laughs> Better reattach that. Yeah, there we go. See, it could just change. It could, it's, it's just reattaching its microorganisms. I honestly think it should kill the Warbat. I love Warbats, but it's Shinomura, bro. This is another one of those Kaiju that Godzilla's strong against, but would destroy everything else. Godzilla didn't keep him low populated. They destroy the planet. Damn! I love Warbats too, but it's gotta be the weakest Kaiju in the Monsterverse if you think about it. I'm happy the fights don't get dragged out that long when it's like overpowered. This is the ultimate showdown right here. This is the biggest argument in my Discord ever. It detected its supersonic bat crap. Echolocation. Honestly, I think Rodan's gonna win this just because he's a he's a flying volcano. He's a how do you kill a volcano? I don't think that thing has any weaponry that could possibly kill Rodan. Its supersonic roars almost defeat Kong, but... I guess, yeah, it's looking like it's doing a lot to Rodan also. But see if Rodan can fly faster than the speed of sound, which he can, he can, he can fly 3.5 times faster. Titanus, I mean. So would it be able to fly away from the rays? Yeah, he's definitely faster than Camazots. That's a hell of an advantage. Camazots is huge, though. Yeah, flight speed advantage. That'd be the main takeaway here. Plus his giant freaking beak. Dude's a predator bird. It's literally like a hawk versus a bat. And a hawk would beat a bat 10 times out of 10. Oh, this is the ultimate other fight. Oh, these have all been so accurate and perfect so far. This is such a good channel. This channel gets Kaiju. Who's that loser? <laughs> Sorry. My pre-workout makes me very aggressive. Also makes me pee a lot. <laughs> We don't really know what Methazula's deal even is. Poor guy didn't get like shown much. I guess he's just so slow he couldn't make it to Boston at the end of the movie. But how the crap did Behemoth get there? Is that a baby Behemoth or? No, that trunk is completely different. Oh, Behemoth has this in the bag. I'm, it's, it's so clear to me now. I'm going off who's got bigger tusks. And Methazula's tusks are tiny. And they're like on the side of his head like a Balrog demon. How are those going to come in handy? Oh, whoop! That's using your head. Uh oh, God, I knew those things were going to break. I freaking knew it. Amulak broke them so easily and Methazula's a mountain. 
whoopsie doodles. Go ahead and get up, buddy. You big clumsy turd. Oh my God, he's dead. If a mountain starts wailing on your nuts, you're not having kids after that. Make peace with your solitude. This is sweet because they're What? This is crazy. <laughs> They both look like they easily could temporarily go bipedal too. Like their frame would support it. Oh! I don't see blood on the tip of it. Unless that's because this is also sort of a kid's channel. Which is what happened. It's still epic as crap though. That was way more crazy than I thought it'd be. I'm gonna go pee again because pre-workout is killing me inside. Oh, this one's gonna be intense. Woof, 10 pounds lighter. All right, I'm cheering for my monkey buddy, obviously. He's gonna win, for sure. But I feel like people need to understand how properly big those tigers are. Like, they are freaking mass. They're big enough to be considered at least a subclass of kaiju, like... Like the skull crawler. Not necessarily ginormous, but, but yeah, big enough to be a serious... They'd be eating baby skull crawlers, that's for sure. Skull crawlers always get the shaft, man. Like, my favorite creature. Not, not my favorite, but... Close, like top five. Look at the mouth on those things. The comics really like freaking exaggerate the teeth. Well, not even exaggerate, just in great detail list them that way. They're supposed to be the scariest creatures ever. I can see it, dude. Like a 30 foot tall or 30 foot long tiger, absolutely. Its agility would be a great factor, but Kong is an ape and then things is agile. Oh my god, he's just digging in there! That would be a seriously conflicting energy. And uh, injury! Oh, now he's pissed. Yeah, like them teeth ain't big enough to get deep into his tendons or jugulars and stuff. Damn! It would hurt, but I don't think this thing has any chance of killing Kong. Even if it got a hold of his throat, Kong is a giant ape kaiju. The strength he possesses, he's going for it. Oh, he's just gonna squeeze. Oh darn, I thought he was gonna just... Even better. Kong stomped on that thing, there'd be vertebrae smashed into a fine powder. It would never, it'd be dead. But now it's dead. Oh, it's still putting up a fight. This is just sad. <laughs> like a dying cat monster just scratching with its last energy. It was always going to win, but it was always going to get some good bites and scratches off on Kong before it died. I mean, Kong was always going to win. I haven't slept lately, so I don't know what's going on with words, but yeah. Spear tigers are crazy. Oh, Prime's got this in the bag, dude. Scylla. <laughs> it's a giant kraken monster, but it's Prime. If this includes Prime's digging ability, it's not even good. What's he eating? What is that thing chewing on? A nuke? intense yeah dude the size difference the tremendous muscle difference between these two stop it's poking him once it, yeah once prime makes contact you can't handle the power it's already losing dude oh my god Oh God. Oh Jesus. No way, that's so brutal. It's literally strong enough to do this. She's gonna pull his head off. She's gonna pull his head off, dude. That's hardcore. That is a hardcore thing to do to something. That is so in Prime's like style and character. That is so something I can see Prime doing. Dude, just pulled his head off. Oh no. <laughs> Something tells me the skull crawler is not gonna. 
Oh, he's just munching on a steer buffalo. No, oh, I just killed another one for no reason. It's a large skull crawler from Godzilla vs. Kong. You can tell by its difference to the steer buffalo. He just kicked the buffalo out of. That's hardcore. Oh lord. Run! <laughs> I thought it'd kill him. I'm a little happy it didn't kill him. I would have believed it if it killed him. It's not even the most unheard of thing. Oh god! Yo, he's gonna pull his head off! Arguably worse. Arguably worse than getting your head pulled off. Who's gonna win this tournament, man? There's so many amazing kaiju going up the list. Who's next? Oh, what? That's crazy, Godzilla vs. Ghidorah this early in the fight. Is Godzilla even gonna win? Because he had to go nuclear to beat Monster Zero. He's not nuclear right now. He's just flying over the dead Mothra. There's a storyline to it. That's so cool. Oh, no way. Mothra was still alive? Well, she lost the tournament, so she's out. I like the way they did that. I wonder if Godzilla's even going to continue... Whoa! In the tournament after this. I wonder if he's going to die this early, because he's not nuclear. Whoopsie doodles. It's not looking good for the G-Man. It's looking bad for the G-Man. I'm so curious if Godzilla's about to lose the tournament this easy. In a Godzilla tournament, I, I imagine people would be... They'd have opinions. Although at the same time, I'd get it. I'd understand because Godzilla kind of lost to Monster Zero without going nuclear. It was pretty much after this, Godzilla was ready to die. After being dropped. So you gotta wonder if he's gonna recover from this. He did, but this video has a lot of accuracies for it, which makes me think he's hurt. I guess it's whoever wins this. Whoever's got more energy behind the beam cloud. Oh God, he's winning, that's good. I thought it was moving towards Monster Zero. I was wrong. Rent is about to be so much cheaper there though, so that's nice. Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa! He's gonna drown him and then figure out Godzilla's basically a Oh, he's gonna drop him in a volcano, oh my God! Walter, you cheater. You absolute cheater. That is cheating, ma'am. Oh, she's gonna make him go nuclear. Honestly, it's for the best. This would feel like a silly video if Godzilla was out this early. It feel downright nonsensical. Damn. Hey, at least it's freaking accurate. Kevin! <laughs> That's why there's like an estimated 60 Kevin heads around the planet. See, 
this is awesome because in kaiju universe they would just fly away from you but in this and in real life they just kind of wait for it you know i'm very amazed at the rate this like video has been able to keep up with the accuracy of the franchise stomped them into crap I wonder if Godzilla is going to be able to go nuclear every time, though. Ooh, this is getting crazy. Rodan versus Shinomura. It's going to be Rodan for sure. I don't know. With Shinomura, you have to defeat every single freaking cell. Every cell. I don't know if Rodan's got the chops. I touched my mouse. But the thing is, I don't know if Shinomura has a way to kill Rodan. I can bite on him. That's not gonna do much. Rodan isn't even phased. Just looks like it's trying to breastfeed, if anything. He bit its head off pretty easy. But it could just reattach it. That's no issue for the beast. It's confusing, right? He's a crazy creature. They have no way to kill each other. Unless Rodan pushes it into a volcano. Maybe that would work. Could shatter him into a million pieces. But it won't work. Oh, wait, this is a strategy. I guess you don't need to kill it. You just need to win the tournament. And if you separate it into enough pieces, then it won't be able to put itself back together as quick. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a strategy for a tournament. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Cause you don't have to kill it, you just have to win the tournament. What do you do with that skull crawler? I've seen videos of apes with frogs. I don't trust apes. Dude, skull crawlers are just getting the shaft and everything. Who's gonna win this one? Oh, it's gonna be Kong. He's gonna freaking remove one of those, one of those tusks and stab him with it. It's the only logical way my brain can play this out. That's what's gonna happen. It's weird it's got a butt. Behemoth? Ah, I feel like it needs a tail or something. I guess it's like a mammoth. It's very butty. Yeah, monkey's way too agile for that kind of nonsense. But Behemoth has no agility. Got a strong bugger. What's happening here? <laughs> I'm happy he turned around really fast. They're both too beefy. They're both too strong. They need something sharp to stab the other person. You gonna punch him in the chest till he dies from a heart attack like Houdini? It's a strategy. Good. Now. Oh, sweet heavens. What's the game plan here, man? Kong is losing the crap out of this. Oh, monkey idea. Advanced ape brain overpower stinky animal. Someone evolved to use tools. Oh! An issue has been presented for the behemoth. There's a loose tusk on the battlefield. Now's no time to cry, you sissy. You know what? You lose the tusk off your face, it's probably the exact time to cry. It's been done. You just shanked him, bro. Prison rules. I knew that was gonna happen. It was the only way for this thing to possibly outcome. Neither of them had any sharp item or way to kill the other one. Behemoth had tusks, but he's too slow. I actually have no idea who's gonna win this one. 
and absolutely no clue. It could easily be either one of them, but I totally agree with it. Is that Mecha? It's like Mecha Godzilla colors, you know? Okay, it was not Mecha. Prime seems so unimpressed. I can't believe he pulled Scylla's head off. God, I love this. This is like my, two of my favorite Kaiju fighting right now. If Rodan was in this, I'd crap my pants. It all comes down to if Prime's roar could synchronize with Mecha Godzilla, I suppose. But how do you synchronize with a machine? I'm trying to think what way Mecha could kill Muto Prime. Maybe with his tail? Prime could just smash Mecha into pieces. Beams don't affect Prime much. He evolves specifically to fight Godzilla's, and that's pretty much what Mecha is. In fact, this may be the hardest Kaiju Mecha Godzilla could have possibly gone up against. It's because he's built specifically to avoid this nonsense. Uh-oh. Bro really wants that kiss. This could work. I guess the difference is Muta's evolved to fight Godzilla and Godzilla doesn't have shoulder cannons. It's pretty much the difference right there. <laughs> they didn't evolve to withstand shoulder cannons. Oh my God. Oh no. The, 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 this is a lose-lose for Johnny. Rodan, Titanus Rodan's my favorite Kaiju. You know what, as long as you, look at this, look at this. Total douche. That's why it's my favorite kaiju. Everything just goes off and eats and rampages and Rodan's like, I'm gonna go destroy cities, because why not? <laughs> what a jerk, I love him. He's such a lovable Kermuppets. A downright scoundrel. Uh oh, he's gonna get breath in the face. laughing at him. I, I don't think there's any way Rodan can kill Godzilla is the thing. The pecker, like his pecking won't be enough. His claws won't be enough. And that's all he's got. Breath will be enough. Hitting Rodan with that breath though would be near impossible. Since he flies so incredibly fast. I guess, yeah, when he's swooping in to get Godzilla, though, he's lined up perfectly. Rodan could probably just spend all day. Look at him. This, this, this was my concern. That's the worst thing Rodan could do. Normally, that would wreck a lot of stuff. But Godzilla's got atomic scaling. Pretty hard surface. Who won? Oh, did he just throw him out? Okay, I was wondering if that was how you could win this. I was like, that doesn't seem very fair. He's tracking him to his home. How's this gonna end? I'm curious. These have all ended absolutely perfectly so far. Oh, he did just win. He, he made him retreat. I guess retreating works. That is, okay, I have, to, I have to explain this in case anyone thinks that's silly. Rodan again had no way to kill Godzilla. No way. Godzilla could have killed Rodan. Rodan has the speed to get away easily. I think Rodan's pretty freaking smart too. He's like a bird. Birds are geniuses. So he would recognize he can't win and he'd retreat. That's what he'd do. That's how you win. Oh my God. Who's gonna win this? This could totally go either way. I feel like... I don't know, Kong needed some help. Although Mecha was made to kill Godzilla, not to kill Kong. But he's got like automated NPC auto aim and atomic breath and heat seeking shoulder missiles, you know? Kong doesn't even have his axe. 
He's so done. He can avoid it. He can avert it, but eventually. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'd rather Kong win this, but oh my God. But I just don't know. Stabbed in the chest. I don't know, man. Can he damage metal without his axe? I don't think he can. Oh! Dude, Mecha has been cheating with that shoulder cannon all day. I don't even know if it's cheating though. It's part of his anatomy. This would kill Kong right here, for sure. That's one dead monkey. He's got Joe Swanson legs. Mecha's just too deadly. Look at his crazy feet. Kong's got little baby feet. Little baby Joe Swanson feet. I just don't know, man. He's gonna retreat for sure. He's got no chance. Without the axe, he's got no chance and he recognizes it. Poor guy. Look at his little feet. He's adorable. Little dancer's legs. You can't necessarily blame him. He he's stood no chance. He still might die. I thought he was gonna snipe him with his breath. That'd have been hardcore, man. Mecha versus Godzilla. Uh oh. Uh oh. Could Godzilla kill Mecha on his own? It's maybe. Because last time he was weak, remember he used like half his energy with the Hollow Earth breath? This is him at full energy. What are you doing here with your axe now? What? He gets to join him. Or he just got his axe. He ran back from the last retreats. And now he's going in there for... Oh, so he wasn't retreating. He was running home to get his axe. This is actually kind of beautiful. It ended up Godzilla and Kong versus Mecha. Stay true to the story. Ding. It really doesn't do much until it's charged up, does it? <laughs> Even the axe itself is useless if Godzilla's not there to charge it up for him. They're not useless, but not as useful nearly whatsoever. It's raining monkeys around here. Now it's personal or something. I don't know, man. What if Mecha wins this? I'm trying to think what ability Kong even or Godzilla even has that can kill Mecha. I think it literally has to be the axe. I don't think Godzilla has any specific finisher that can work on Mecha. Yeah, I guess you can step on him, but he's a robot. He doesn't have a beating chest or heart. His the computers might be in the brain or something, you know? Could be anywhere. But Godzilla does have a heart. Even the face. I think the face is just there to make it look like it has a face. But it's a robot. But the brain could be anywhere. Could be in the legs. I think they'd kind of need the axe. Think about the math, how hard it would be to actually aim your beam at someone else's beam. That'd be so hard to do. I guess unless your beams were ginormous and you're both shooting at each other's face. Damn hey, but the balls. He ain't having kids. I keep burping. I don't know what it is. All I do is drink soda all day. I mean this. Soda's poison. Oh! 
Dude, whenever I see something get cut or stabbed really bad in the guts, I just picture like, cause lower intestines would start to peek out. You ever read a freaking field manual for like first aid? Kidneys, the organs come out really easy. Too bad Godzilla can't just charge his own back spikes and just, I don't know, do a flip on him. This is just sad. That's crazy, Godzilla using the axe. It makes sense though, he's the one. It's him versus Mecha. It has to be his victory. Godzilla won. I think we all sort of saw that coming to an extent. Deep down, I thought maybe Shinomura might have won Naka or freaking Mecha Godzilla 2021. I thought there was a chance. Oh, the passed out bodies on the floor. Godzilla ready to claim what is his. Dude is pooped. I'm happy for him. This is a glorious moment. The monster trophy of the century. That was beautiful. This is a beautiful video. This channel that's linked down below in the description has made an amazing video. Honestly, this channel, XR Flash, everyone, you can tell they've read the comics, they've done the research, they know a lot about kaiju and monsters. I am freaking amazed how accurate this entire thing was. That was crazy beautiful. So leave a like on the video if you guys want more Godzilla stuff. Check out this amazing channel linked down below, of course, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>